The U.S. Aircraft Carrier Strike Group Abraham Lincoln has sailed through the vital Strait of Hormuz. This comes amid simmering enmity between the United States and Iran. Tensions in the region escalated after the U.S. government under President Trump unilaterally withdrew from Iran nuclear deal and imposed stringent sanctions against Iran. The deal offered Iran relief from sanctions in exchange for limits on its nuclear program. Trump administration is of the view that Iran is misusing the deal. Recent months have seen multiple spikes in hostilities, which include the U.S. accusing Iran for a series of attacks on commercial ships, Iran downing an American RQ-4A Global Hawk drone, and an attack on Saudi Arabia's oil, which has been blamed on Iran. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Iran didn't do anything as the USS Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group passed through the Strait of Hormuz. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Strait of Hormuz is a strait between the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. It provides the only sea passage from the Persian Gulf to the open ocean. It's one of the world's most strategically important choke points. On the north coast lies Iran, and on the south coast the United Arab Emirates and Musandam, an exclave of Oman. At its narrowest point, the strait has a width of only 21 nautical miles, or 39 kilometers. Around 33% of the world's liquefied natural gas and almost 20% of its total global oil production passes through the strait, making it one of the most important sea routes. Because of its narrow width, it's kind of a choke point. Small missile boats and fast attack vessels that can maneuver easily in these waters can be used to harass large warships as well as commercial vessels. Iran's invested in these kind of small vessels and has developed strategies to deploy them effectively in the strait. In a September 11, 2008 report, the Washington Institute for the Near East Policy said that in the two decades since the Iraqi-imposed war on Iran, the IRGC has excelled in naval capabilities and is able to wage unique asymmetric warfare against larger naval forces. An American aircraft carrier strike group consists of mainly four components. The supercarrier, one to two Virginia-class submarines, at least two to three Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, and at least one Ticonderoga-class cruiser. Let's check them one by one and analyze the scenario. USS Abraham Lincoln CVN-72 is the fifth Nimitz-class aircraft carrier in the United States Navy and is one of the largest vessels constructed. It has a displacement of 100,000 tons and an overall length of 332.8 meters that's 1,092 feet. To give viewers a perspective, it's about three football fields long. USS Abraham Lincoln is powered by two A4W nuclear reactors, kept in separate compartments. These power four propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. USS Abraham Lincoln has a flight group of more than 60 aircraft, including F-18 jet fighters. These are twin-engine, supersonic, all-weather, carrier-capable, fourth-generation, multi-role fighter aircraft. They have a payload of 7,700 kilograms, that's 17,000 pounds, and can carry ground attack weapons as well as air-to-air -air missiles. Like all Nimitz-class warships, USS Abraham Lincoln possesses a multitude of different radars, including electronically scanned array 3D radars. 
it's equipped with 16 to 24 RIM-7 Sea Sparrow or NATO Sea Sparrow missiles. RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is a U.S. shipborne, short-range anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon system, primarily intended for defense against anti-ship missiles. Close-in weapon CIWS, duties are performed by Phalanx and RIM-116 rolling airframe missile. The Virginia class, also known as SSN-774 class, is a class of nuclear-powered fast attack submarines in service with the United States Navy. The submarines are designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral, shallow coastal water missions. These have a length of 377 feet, that's 115 meters, and a displacement of around 7,900 metric tons. Being nuclear powered, these can stay underneath the ocean surface for an unlimited amount of time, constrained by only food supply and maintenance requirements. Powered by a 30 megawatt S9G reactor, these submarines can reach a speed of 25 knots and can move down to depths of 800 feet or 240 meters. Virginia class is designed to take out enemy surface vessels, submarines, as well as can strike ground targets. Four torpedo tubes and 12 VLS vertical launch system are present that are capable of launching Mark 48 torpedoes, UGM 109 tactical tomahawks, and harpoon missile. Mark 48 torpedoes have an effective firing range of 38 kilometers and have a 650 pound or 295 kilogram warhead. A single hit from this torpedo can be deadly for any ship or submarine. The Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, subsonic missile that's used for land-based attacks. Harpoon missile has a high subsonic speed and a range of around 75 miles or 120 kilometers and plays the role of anti-ship missile. Arleigh Burke class warships are designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, ballistic missile defense BMD, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. Ticonderoga class of guided missile cruisers also have a multi-role capability like the Arleigh Burke destroyers. Arleigh Burke class and Ticonderoga class warships are among the largest in the world. Arleigh Burke class warships have an overall length of around 505 to 509 feet, that's 154 to 155 meters, and a displacement of around 9,200 tons. Ticonderoga class vessels are a bit larger. They have an overall length of about 560 feet, that's 173 meters, and a displacement of about 9,600 tons. Both have a speed of 30 plus knots, 55 plus kilometers per hour. These warships are a multi-weapons platform and can neutralize different kinds of threats. Both Arleigh Burke class and Ticonderoga class warships have Aegis combat system. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post-boost phase and prior to re-entry. Arleigh Burke class has 96-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, whereas Ticonderoga class has 122 of these. These can be configured with the combination of different weapons depending on the assigned missions, which include Tomahawk cruise missile for land attack, standard series missile for the surface-to-air roll, including ballistic missile defense, evolved Sea Sparrow missiles for air defense, and RUM-139A VL ASROC for the anti-submarine roll. Two Mark 41 Harpoon missile launcher are configured for the anti-ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present for launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps III helicopters are also available for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, they are equipped with a long-range naval gun and multiple close-in weapon system. Iran's only chance against an American carrier group is asymmetric warfare as a traditional bombing attempt with its out-of-date air force will not be suitable. 
a potential asymmetric attack could include speedboats and cater missile. While the threat that small boats pose to major warships has been apparent for some time, the Pentagon's Millennial Challenge 2002 exercise brought the issue to mainstream attention. In that controversial exercise, small fast boats carrying suicide payloads inflicted heavy damage on U.S. naval forces. But U.S. Navy has updated its strategy to counter these kinds of attacks. The Cater supersonic missile developed by Iran has a range of about 185 miles or 300 kilometers. It's self-guided and can maneuver to lock onto a moving target. The missile's cheap, easy to launch, and can be deployed in swarms. But given that an American carrier group has such a vast arsenal of defensive weapons, it's unlikely that these will be able to penetrate the defenses and cause significant damage. Overall, it can be said that odds are very heavily stacked against Iran, and any aggressive step would be futile. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.